Hi guys, welcome to the video number 399 and in this video today we are going to learn something very amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed this video and uh, the credit goes to Sunil who is my subscriber and he has, uh, you know, he had actually forwarded this email to me and I just want to read it uh, read it out to you and uh, this is going to be a combination of some if count if and if function. So we are going to use the three functions in single formula right so welcome to the channel and welcome to this video number 399 if you are new to the channel guys my name is Ajay and uh, I have uploaded all these almost 400 videos now on Excel Excel VBA MS access and access VBA just to you know a brief you about this the whole the channel you can go on the playlist and you will find here 44 different playlists you will see the videos on excel excel vba ms access and access vba you can scroll it down and these are all that you can see the different different videos right now I'm going to also tell you that because a lot of you have asked me that if they want to learn the excel vba using these youtube videos how they you know can start so this is the playlist these are all the playlists which you know you should watch in this particular order you go and watch excel vba introduction and then vba loops collection loops arrays functions workbook sheet handling file handling event access so we be access interview questions then how to connect the excel with the outlook point and ms access so if you are going to follow this series will have a pretty awesome learning in the Excel VBA and you can give your comment any any questions you have you can just post your comment or if you're looking for the personal online training you can also email me right so this is what actually I thought that let me first of all tell you all now let's come back to the question and before I you know you do on the question I want to read this beautiful email which was actually uh, sent by Sunil and this is what he has to say hi Ajay before jumping into a question I would like to take a few moments of mine to appreciate your work you and your work both are doing wonders thank you so much Sunil thank you so much for this wonderful feedback I have been watching your videos for over eight months now I found all of them very helpful powerful phenomenal and more realistic well each of your word actually means a lot to me and I understand when you say realistic why you say that because you know I also believe that this channel is every video on this channel is so realistic and I think the credit goes to you guys because when you give me some questions you know I just upload the video and do not do nothing ultimately that becomes so you know, realistic subject because it it comes uh, directly from the live environment right so thank you to you thank you to each of you all people who are actually associated with this channel watching this channel i also like the way you behave with the utmost courtesy towards your audience well uh, <laughs> what can i say i mean thank you so much uh, i always try to give you the good content uh, because i know that if i have to learn something on the youtube and when i surf and if i am spending one hour and then later i am you know not able to get uh, you know understand what I actually thought you know initially uh, the kind of knowledge I'm looking so it is a big disappointment so I always try to you know ensure that what I'm going to upload in the video that should make a sense most of the time I do prefer watching the VBA part the extreme adorable part well uh, thank you so much of course I know that we have a lot of videos on the VBA but uh, don't say that because even on the Excel and the Axis <laughs> I did a lot of lot of hard work right so you if you go and you check out that you would find the amazing videos and this video I'm going to prove you that Excel my Excel videos are also as pretty as VBA all right so anyways I was just getting I found in your videos is that you do improvise it which comes spontaneously you do not plan it in advance and you go with the flow of making it flawless I learn a lot from your all beautiful videos uploaded on YouTube thank you a big thumbs up to you if you're learning from my YouTube is what actually when I started two years back this channel you know that that was the aim in my mind that if I'm gonna give my all knowledge you know to to people around the world and if anywhere they are working they're working on any personal project official project they should get some benefit right I have a one question to you which is troubling me a lot for a month now I have attached an excel sheet question is I need to divide and um, an, I need to divide the amount equally in column B wherever I get the duplicate Comment. so basically guys I, I'll tell you uh, I, I just explained the question uh, it would be very grateful to have the answer of this query through VBA so I'm going to upload the video on the VBA as well but this time I'm going to talk about only the Excel how you can use these super uh, advanced functions some if count if and if Th though I mean it's they are not advanced actually as a standalone they are very normal function but I'm going to combine all these functions and we're gonna make a very good complex formula once again I thank you for your work and I do support your channel a big thumbs up to you again right supporting keep commenting and we will definitely rock 
So now guys, this is what actually Sunil had forwarded me. Now, if you look at this data, it is very interesting. Uh, he has this uh, data sorted in the document wise the documents or uh, you know if if you have any repetition you can see these all yellow cells basically they are repeating now what he wants to do is for all the you know the documents where we have a repetition you have the amount you know to the uh, left side of that document so he wants to actually right here he wants to divide this the amount the total amount which is there for you know that particular uh, document he has to uh, let me just do this he has to divide this total amount uh, you know by the number of times this document is coming so for example this is coming here as two times as you can see here the data is sorted so we will not have any problem if the data would have not been sorted definitely my approach uh, you know the first approach would be to sort this data you have already sorted it out that's very nice now this is what he wants to do so he wants to have this data like this you know equally uh, equally we want to spread this data so for this document that this this is going to be the cost so if i have if i have a hundred then that means it should be 50 and 50 that is what actually he is trying to do similarly for these uh, they are all unique they are not coming here so we have their amount that's fine if you look at this uh, item again now this item this document 77378294236 is coming three times guys right so now what we need to do is basically the amount which is coming here for the want because the rest of the cells are blank this actually has to be divided by the number of the count this document is coming in the entire you know this table c to c and obviously this is coming here as three so you will divide it by three and then this number should you know equally be distributed like this and then here as well now this is what exactly we want to do right and similarly for this uh, this 171344 should be divided uh, with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. 5 times it should be divided and all the numbers should come here. That's what we want to do. Okay. Now, when I initially I, you know, uh, look at this formula, it took almost, uh, I think, 2 or 3 minutes for me to develop this formula. Now, what I found is uh, one thing very unique in this particular pattern uh, that there is, of course, the sorting is there, but there is one more thing that the cell is the blank that means that's that the, that is the end of that document and which is the very important line you know which is the very important part from the analysis perspective so now what actually i want to do is uh, first of all guys uh, we need to count at home you know the number of times this item is coming because we need to divide this hundred by that number right and maybe i can just to give you the you know, simple calculation uh, let let me go ahead and just change this number and let's just make this number like this so maybe i can make this again oh, 1000 now what we need to do how are you going to do the count obviously you will use the count a function okay so what is a count a function count a function uh, will simply come here and we are going to use the count if and we will say that go in this range which is c to c and the criteria has to be this particular cell now when you press enter you get to see your count simple right so if i just drag this down if i just drag this down you would see that this item is coming here two two and forget about these ones because we don't need them but what about this this is coming three this is coming three this is coming three we don't need this and again then this is coming two this is coming two perfect that that is what we need and this is so you have got your denominator my friend right this is the number from you know which has to be divided now obviously now you need to divide this number with what you need to divide this number with the hundred right so for that i will use the sum f what i will do is i will simply say sum f and then the range and the criteria and the sum range now the sum range obviously would be this amount but the, what is the criteria so i want to sum this particular document every document basically so i again go in the range and here i'm going to give the criteria so what i want to actually sum is this right so this is going to be filtered in this c to c column so what will happen excel will go in this column c to c and you know it will try to identify in this particular range which where you have all the documents where is the c3 document which is this criteria and you know the result would come out as true false true false true false if you don't have any information about the sum if and the count if please go and check out my playlist excel count and sum family that is the playlist where you would find i think three videos and watch all those three videos starting from the basic level and you will have the full understanding on the sum if and the count if now this so if this is going to be true then what i want is correspondingly i want to capture the sum range which means that i, I will give this b to b table so how the 
and when you press enter you get to see here 100 so how it basically it works it will go here it will check whether this is the document of course it is not the document if this is the document yes this is a document then what it, what it will do it will find the corresponding element and this will be true and this will be 100 anything you multiply with the true that becomes you know uh, because true is a number two is one and if you uh, anything you multiply with the two same number would come back so similarly uh, if i if i just uh, uh, go ahead and drag this function again you will you would see that you know using this uh, function we have the total which is going to you know be in the numerator so you can see here uh, we have 100 here we have 100 here we don't need these lines so i just delete that and then you have the 200 200 200 right so basically 200 divided by 3 is something you need it right isn't it so if i just go ahead and divide it by 3 and now if i just go and drag this function like this you know you will get to see all your values and by the way let me remove all these things now this is what i'm trying to explain you the kind of the you know we will obviously club all these things so now you have your answer as simple as that now how to put this how you will come to know that which value you are supposed to pick and which value you're not supposed to pick because here we have some document uh, you know which are not actually coming again and again right so now what we will do we will put the if condition guys i will say that if you are equals to this the next item so if the row number three is going to be equals to row number four or maybe if the row number two is going to be equals to row number three then only use this function then only Use the sum if get the numerator and divided it by this count if function, which is going to be obviously used as a numerator. Now, in this particular case, we will have one problem. I can do that, but guys, understand when you're going to reach to the last number, for example, this, this will never be equals to this. So your if function will fail there and it is not going to give you that true result. So you know that if you have a blank that means the, you're talking about the same document which is which must be above if you look at all these blanks for example these blanks if i talk about that means that this if i have a blank here that means the upper document must be the same if i have a blank here that means this upper document would be same if i have a blank here this upper document must be same and in this particular case especially for the last one where this document you know this particular document is not equals to this i will again go ahead and put the condition that if you are equals to this then then fine then also do the sum if and the count if but if you're not equals to this then do check one more condition that if the corresponding number is blank or not so we are actually going to put the two conditions in this particular video right especially for the blank cell i'm going to take care of the last cell as well so here you will write this condition like this if or i'm going to use the if or i will say that if you are equals to the next number then what you need to do is you need to obviously you know use that sum if and count if but before you do that put another condition that either this is equals to this or if this is not true then go for the another condition and check that if you are blank and if you are blank and c2 is equals to c3 or any of the condition is going to be true then that means i want to target you right so i go in the value of true and i use my sum if function i want to sum if i will go ahead and i will use the range which is this range in this range i'm going to give this criteria and in this criteria i'm going to put this sum range which is b to b right so you will have your answer which is going to be 171285 100 66539 depending on, upon whether the condition is going to satisfy or not so i just close this when i close this i have to divide this 171 you know 171285 with the number you know how many times the document is coming so guys this is what i will do again i will use the count if and in the count if now i'm going to use the criteria which is the same the document i want to count and that's it and if this is condition is not going to satisfy just give the space that's it you press enter and you see that you got the space here why because this number is not equals to this number so the condition fails right if i drag this here it will be very interesting to see what we are getting oh wow we are getting 50 here right now why because of the reason that this condition this document is equals to this number as you can see if i just show you uh, using the f2 let me change the the formula let me put it on the left side now if i press f2 you see this document is this equals to this document so c3 is going to be equals to c4 the first condition satisfies so obviously we are using the a4 so b3 is blank or not we don't care because the first condition satisfies if the first condition satisfies this is going to sum if this is going to give you the 100 and then 100 will be divided with you know the count of 
how many times this document is coming so basically 100 will be divided by 2 which i have already explained to you right now the important point the next time when i drag this you again get to see 50 why now you know that if i just put the f2 this document is not equals to this document but we know that we have put the another condition which is b4 equals to blank now b4 if it is blank that means that it has to be the same document you know uh, just uh, the, the above above to this cell it's gonna be the same document which you just you know actually the you dragged it from the above right so both the cells are supposed to be same so that is why we are targeting this hundred now if you are wondering how you're gonna get the hundred out of here it's simple because you have you're using the sum if you are saying that in this entire c to c filter this document which is seven one two six six nine two eight seven and then get me the b to b from the b to b get me the sum range so obviously in the b to b this hundred would also come right because of the reason that 887 887 are here right if you know some if you know what i'm talking right but i'm just trying to explain it little more because just in case if you are a beginner you know the sum if counting but you may find it a little difficult in understanding that is why i'm trying to you know elaborate so much so this is how if i show you it's a good technique to do that if you want to see the formula how it works select that formula select that cell and go to the evaluate formula now see this what happens uh, when i click on the evaluate underline item will be executed first so c4 i have this document is this equals to c5 well yes of course it is uh no i'm sorry it is not actually because this is not equals to this 0069 so the answer would come as false it is going to check the another condition if b4 is blank obviously b4 is blank you can see here so we have you know zero equals to zero which is going to be true now in the a4 any condition if it is going to come out as true unlike if and that will lead to the answer as true so we have the true guys and when you have the true it will never go in the space because that is for the false now this is going to work so in the sum of c to c now c4 is the criteria which is your document as you can see here so in the c to c this document will be filtered and you will have the true right two truths will be multiplied uh, with this b2b where you have the number coming so obviously wherever you have false that means zero zero will be multiplied with that corresponding amount anything you multiply with the zero it comes out to be a zero i have explained this you know in my that uh, count and some family playlist right so now you will get to see here 100 and then for the 100 this will be divided with the c4 which is obviously in the c to c range c4 is coming two times so that's how you know you get to see here your answer as 50 so that is the basically the logic now if you drag this down it should work let me just drag this down look at this okay and by the way let's just remove this so i think this is working very nice if i just put a 100 you see that it's coming 25 25 25 right and it's coming here 200 200 200 200 because you have a thousand right perfect and these are all which are unique ids they are coming and guys so that's it for now and uh, i hope you uh, you know appreciate this the, the kind of the stuff we have done because i found this very a very good question a very unique especially from the analysis perspective or we got to see this you know the blanks will be beautifully use this logic if you have anything else to share maybe you can build a new formula let me know about it just give your comment i will upload the video and i will educate everybody about this right so that's it for now thank you so much for reaching out to me sunil and uh, hope everybody has a today enjoyed this video and uh, do subscribe to the channel to support me guys and i'm gonna come back very soon